हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू फिजिक्स एच क्यू दिस इज प्रोफेसर संदीप योर ट्यूटर फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ लेक्चर सीरीज कंटिन्यूइंग विद द क्लास ट्वेल्थ लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर सॉल्विंग एम सी क्यूज एंड सम्स टूडे वील बी सॉल्विंग एम सी क्यूज ऑफ चैप्टर ट्वेल्व इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सो लेट एस सी दर्स्ट एम सी क्यू अ सर्कुलर कॉयल ऑफ हंड्रेड टर्स विद अ क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ वन मीटर स्क्वेयर इज केप्ट विद इट्स प्लेन परपेंडिकुलर टू द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी ऑफ वन टेस्ला वॉट इज द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स लिंकेज विद द कॉयल ऑप्शन आर वन वेबर हंड्रेड वेबर फिफ्टी और टू हंड्रेड वेबर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूला फॉर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी इज गिवन बाय फ्लक्स पर यूनिट एरिया Now we are supposed to find magnetic flux over here. So flux can be written as B into A. Now we have over here hundred tons. So what we'll be doing is to find out the total flux linkage. We'll be multiplying this by the number of tons. And now we'll put up the values. N is hundred, B is one tesla, area is also one. So so our option is hundred Weber. So the correct option is on B. Let's go ahead to the next MCQ. A conductor of length L is moving with velocity v in a direction normal to the uniform magnetic field. What will be the magnitude of induced EMF produced between the ends of the moving conductor? Now let us say we have a area to which this magnetic field is perpendicular. Okay, and let us assume a conductor over here. Okay, a conducting rod of length L. Now this rod is moving with a velocity v in this direction. so let us say it has moved from here and it has reached at this point okay now let us say that it has covered a distance x over here so it has formed a area over here that area will be given by this length l and breadth x now let us come to our derivation part flux is given by magnetic field into area for our case flux will be equal to magnetic field area is given by l into x in this case now to find out induced emf we will be using the faraday second law which is d5 by dt let's put the value of flux over here d by dt is b into l into x now magnetic field is fixed length of the conductor is fixed so we will take them outside and what we are left with is dx by dt now is displacement over here or distance which is moved and rate of change of distance or displacement is nothing but velocity so we can write e is equal to b l v therefore the correct option is option a hope you all understood this two conductor coils with inductance 10 milli henry and 20 milli henry are connected in series what is the resultant inductance of the combination of the two coils options are 20 30 10 or 20 by 3 milli henry so over here we have coils in series so for coils in series we have this setup the first one is 10 milli henry and the second coil is of 20 milli, milli henry so their com combination of the two coils l will be given by l1 plus l2 this will be 10 plus 20 which is 30 milli henry So the correct option is option B. Let us go ahead to the next MCQ. A current through a coil of self-inductance 10 milli henry increases from 0 to 1 ampere in 0.1 second. What is the induced EMF in the coil? 0.1 volt, 1, 10, or 0.01 volt? So for this, we'll use the formula for induced EMF, which is given by d5 by dt. Now this phi for an inductor is L into I. where l is inductance and i is current so we have e is equal to d l i by dt the l over here is constant so what we can have is we can have l outside and what we are left with is d i by dt now let us put all the values l is given to be 10 milli henry milli is 10 raised to minus 3 d i over here is nothing but change in current change in current is final current 1 minus initial current 0 dt in the denominator is the time taken for this change and the time taken is 0.1 second so we can write this as 10 raised to minus 2 into 1 divided by 
we take this above what we have is 10 raised to minus 2 into 10 which gives us 10 raised to minus 1 which is 0 0.1 volt so the correct option is option a let us go ahead to the next mcq what is the energy required to build up a current of 1 ampere in an inductor of 20 milli henry the options are 10 milli joule 20 milli joule 20 joule or 10 joule so the formula for energy build up in an inductor is given by half l i square let us put the values half into l is given as 20 milli henry milli is 10 raised to minus 3 and current is 1 ampere ka square will be 1 only ok so 2 ones are 2 tens are 20 so we got 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 joules again this 10 raised to minus 3 can be written as millijoules so the correct option is option A thank you for your time if you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates also based on your feedbacks and suggestions we'll be covering key concepts under our 5 minute lecture series for class 12 so please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover see you all in the next class this is professor sandeep from physics hq signing off